What's up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw, and I'm back. <laughs> yeah, we're coming back with some Fantastic Four. Issue 96. Yeah, we're getting close to 100, finally. The Mad Thinker is back, and he's brought a new set of androids. And they look like the Fantastic Four. Will these powerful androids be able to beat the Fantastic Four? We will find out in the Androids of Death. Of course, it starts out, you know, the usual. Reed's having his coffee. Sue's recovering from an injury. And uh, Ben is, of course, getting joked out by the Yancey Street Boys. They're sending him a muscle galore book. And I guess, you know, they're kind of pranking him, saying, you know, that he's uh, not exactly the type to have muscles. He's just a big, hulking rock brute. So, you know, he crushes the book. Typical Yancey Street behavior. And uh, they make off with their day. Of course, they're trying to figure out what exactly they're going to do, how they're going to go about their day, and more importantly, where's Johnny? Of course, Johnny shows up, and uh, he talks to Ben, but all of a sudden, he stuns him with a blast. And this isn't Johnny Storm's typical fire blast. This is a stun blast. And this catches Ben unaware because, as we know, Johnny Storm doesn't do stun blasts. He does fire blasts. This is our first indication that this is an android sent by the Mad Thinker. And he brings in, of course, a clone of the Ben, and uh, they get started. The Mad Thinker likes to plan things down to the last second. So uh, they're going by time and uh, how long it'll take to do this and that. Because the Thinker actually likes to think things down to the very last second. And he prepares his other androids, both Sue and Reed. And uh, these androids are really good. I mean, he even has the bandages that Sue has from her injury. We have a Reed wearing his classic suit. So, the Mad Thinker has done his homework on this. And uh, he makes plans. Of course, he's watching them on the monitor. And he's trying to figure out what exactly he's going to do. While he's waiting for his androids to take effect, Sue actually goes into a store. Shopping around for clothes, this and that. You know, doing what she does. And, uh, yeah, she gets taken by her double. They knock her out. Of course, the Mad Thinker's men. And I, I got to say this again. Where do these supervillains get the money for this? Is there a bank or something? Because I know these androids, even back then, cost bank. I mean, like, where do these guys get the cash for all this? Anyways, that's another thing for another time. The android of Sue takes over, contacts the android of Reed. And, of course, he's in position to take Reed because they, he's been following the Fantastic Four. He knows their schedule and he knows where they're going to be. That's what the Mad Thinker does. Anyways, the car pulls up and uh, he reaches out. The android, of course, grabs Reed. Reed realizes that it's cold, lifeless in a way. It must be an android. He's messed with the Mad Thinker before, so he knows the Mad Thinker's signature on androids and other beings, just like he knows Doom's signature. He, Reed's pretty smart about this. There's a fight that ensues and one Reed emerges. He calls the Mad Thinker, saying that their mission is succeeded. And of course, the Mad Thinker in his moment of glory brings in his quote-unquote puppets. There's only one puppet master, brother. Anyways, the Mad Thinker sits there all happy, ready to take anything that Reed has, you know, to clean out his lab. Reed walks in, but this is the wrong Reed. Yes, the original Reed Richards had won the fight. And he takes a shot at the Mad Thinker, boom, right in the face. You gotta admire Reed. Reed is pretty sinister, pretty smart at... And sinister at times. I mean, he make a good hero or villain. But anyways, he Reed goes out. He starts attacking the androids. And uh, yeah, he doesn't want to attack Sue. And yet, you know, he does. He has to. But he realizes that Ben's in the next room. And he uses all of his uh, strength, his stretching power to go in there, wake Ben up. Because he needs that ace in the hole. He needs his powerhouse right now. Ben's starting to wake up. His eyes are starting to flutter. And that's when the robot Johnny comes in. And Ben is a little pissed off at this point. And who can blame him? And you know what time it is. It is clobbering time. Yes, it is. As Ben knocks the hell out of the Human Torch clone. Android, whatever you want to call him. And of course, the android of Ben Grimm comes in. And Ben Grimm's a little pissed off. I mean, copyright, man. Copyright. And of course, Ben knocks out the original for now. The Mad Thinker is uh, figuring out what he's going to do next. He's a little pissed off that his androids failed. Of course, he's got his gun. Getting ready to point it, getting ready to shoot it. And I hope he's got some good bullets in there because 
nothing regular is going to take down Ben or Reed at this point. Of course, Reed grabs him, and he's wondering where Sue is. He's wondering where Johnny is. Sue grabs the gun, the fake Sue, I should say. Of course, uh, Ben Grimm takes care of her, gives her a nice smack. And uh, Ben, of course, doesn't want to hit women, but this is an android, so I guess he's willing to let this one go. And uh, he takes on his clone, but boom! He clobbers that fool out of the building. And of course, Reed's about to bring the hammer down the Mad Thinker. But Reed is a good guy in this one. You know, I, like I said, he has dark intentions, but his family kind of keeps him stable. And he's wondering where Sue is. Of course, they answered this question. Earlier when they fought Dr. Doom, this gave the Mad Thinker an opportunity to make a tunnel into the Fantastic Four's uh, building. And of course, Reed and uh, Thing, still holding on to the Mad Thinker, go in to investigate. And of course, you find the Mad Thinker's men. And I love this. Ben just grabs him and throws him like a bowling ball. Strike! Yeah! And knocks out all of his men. I mean, that's a good use of the villain. I, to be honest, the Mad Thinker kind of deserved it for being a moron in this situation. Anyways, they knock out all of his men. And of course, they find the chamber where Johnny and Sue are. Reed is happy that his wife's up. He gives her that classic, you know, smoochy boochy. They do their little kiss thing. They wake up. The Fantastic Four is back together again. The Mad Thinker has been defeated. And so is his quote unquote androids of death. Even though they didn't kill anybody. And of course I'm Jack Slater. And as always I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.